Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I know you guys are like, girl, where have you been? Um, a lot is going on. I was away because I was practicing for my um, driver's license. I had failed the road test already once. So I kind of focused on that and I'm still in the process of looking for a new job and it's a lot going on. So, uh oh. So, with that being said, that's why I was away. I'm so excited about today's video, though, because we're going to be trying out the new Juvia's Place. Oh, my God. I am Magic Foundation and Concealer. So, um, I don't remember how much these cost, but I will leave the prices somewhere on the screen. These are the new Juvia's Place Foundations and, con and Concealers we all saw from the I Am Magic Collection. Um, I have the foundation in the shade 150 Kano, and I have the concealer in the shade 12. In the shade 12. Um, I wish I would have gotten a tad uh, darker shade for the concealer, but it's okay. Um, so that's what, that's what we're going to be trying on the skin today. As you can see, I'm rocking a new look. I am going to go ahead and do a video on this hair. It'll be sometime after this video. Um... So let's go ahead and jump right in. So as you can see, my brows are already done. And really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use my Fenty Primer. I did see on Instagram that they now have setting powders. I am going to go ahead and pick those up. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I am a setting powder junkie. Oh. I don't know if I mentioned it, but this collection did come out with the foundation brush. I didn't get it because I already have a Juvie's Place foundation brush. It's like a cute little stippling brush. That stain is permanent. I don't know what foundation did that, but it won't come out. But it's a um, stippling brush. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and use this today. So, this foundation comes in 42 shades, and it says our 42 expertly formulated shades are globally inspired for long-lasting all day wearability. I am magic foundation was designed for all skin tones from the deepest dark to the fairest fair. Live your magic, live your magic with Juvia's place. If you are new, my name is Brittany and my skin has gotten a lot better over the years. I'm still going to do a skincare video in my bathroom, but I don't know if I want to do it in this apartment or my next apartment. That's the dilemma. If you guys want a skincare video like now, 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 you don't care where I do, you just want it now, let me know down in the comments and I will go ahead and do that for you. But if you are like, okay, whatever, whenever you're ready, then I'll wait. Um, but I do have some darkness here that I like to cover up. I do have some dark spots. Um, I don't have much darkness around my eyes, and I am a little dark around the mouth area, so that's just my skin. Um, like I said, it's gotten a lot better over the years. So, again, I have this shade 150 Kano, and this um, foundation is cruelty-free and has a 24-month shelf life. So, I'm going to go ahead with the foundation. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. Excuse that mark. I, that is a, a burn from my curling iron. So, 150 Kano. And I'm going to go ahead. Oh, wow. It is very velvety. The texture reminds me of the L'Oreal. Not as thick, but it reminds me of the L'Oreal um, True Cover or something like that. It's not as thick, but that's what... Okay, I put way too much. So a little goes a long way, clearly. But I'm just gonna do, wow, half my face. Just make sure I get that neck. It's a little the undertone is kind of peachy, which I wasn't expecting that, but hopefully once I set it and everything, that'll kind of, you know, subside a little bit. <laughs> it is full coverage. So, of course, this is the side with the foundation. So, I'll catch my neck a little bit more. With the foundation and the side without. Mm. 
I can say it is very full coverage. Uh, I'm hoping it sets a little bit better than what it is so the undertone can even out a little bit. Um, it's very comfortable, I will say that. Very comfortable. Very breathable, too. So I'm not going to add any more. I'm just going to see if I can use what's just left on my hand. Like, it kind of even covered, it did, it covered up that burn on my hand, too. First impressions of the foundation, this coverage is bomb. Bomb coverage is so comfortable. It feels like velvety, okay now. It feels very velvety smooth on the skin. Like my skin doesn't feel caked up. It doesn't feel any of that. Um, it did cover up my darkness that I had on my cheeks. Um, the stash area is pretty covered up as well. I'm not mad at the foundation or first hand. And now we're gonna go in with the concealer, which also has a 12 month shelf life and it's cruelty free, I believe. Experience the new I Am Magic Liquid Concealer from Juvia's Place, designed to give you a full coverage, a full range, sorry, designed to give you a full range of weightless coverage across 24 unique shades, formulated for all skin types and tones, live your magic. Okay, 24 shades, full coverage, lightweight. Now, the Too Faced Born This Way concealer has spoiled me. I oh, I love that concealer to death. I love a good full coverage concealer, and I didn't realize how much I love a good full coverage concealer. Well, I've always loved full coverage concealer, but uh, that has spoiled me. So, oh, a very thick doe for applicator. We're going to go in with this. We're going to just do a little bit, because... I feel like this is gonna be amazing. I just have a feeling. It's very smooth. It doesn't have a smell, at least to me it doesn't. So that's the concealer, again in the shade number 12, applied. And by the way, this packaging is actually really nice, like especially the concealer. Really nice plastic, really, like, this is actually pretty nice. Okay, and we are back with the fresh, not so, with well, the fresh. We're And we are back with the wet, not so fresh beauty blender. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. Okay. Very nice coverage. Um... Wow. I wouldn't say it's like, oh my God, full coverage. Maybe I need to add a little bit more. Um, but it's very nice coverage. Wow. Very nice. Wow, Juvia, girl, my skin looks great. My base looks so good. Oh, I'm going to add literally a smidge more of the concealer, like literally almost nothing. I am so impressed. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And once I laid the concealer on top, I thought the, the foundation matches me so much better. Are you kidding me? My skin looks flawless. 
oh my gosh first impressions of the concealer i would call it full coverage now that i'm really looking i definitely would call this full coverage um of course you can build it up or use, use you know not as much but i love this formula my skin looks great my skin looks great i'm loving my face right now and i haven't even said anything so I'm gonna go ahead off camera and just do a quick eyeshadow look and thrust on my face. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys some final thoughts. All right, everybody. So I am back with final thoughts and I am. Where's my mirror? I am so am impressed. Like I'm floored. I am floored. Juvia's Place did an amazing job. I love the coverage. My face feels good. It doesn't feel cakey, heavy. Um, nothing. This concealer is fire. Like, my under eye looks so good and blended out. The foundation, I was a little skeptical at first, but once I applied the concealer, it set, um, and it jumped into my skin really well. I wish would have gotten a tad darker shade. It's just with all the different undertones, a little bit hard for me, but other than that, I love it. I'm not mad at the concealer. Like, I thought maybe... 12 was a little too light um but it blended out beautifully and it worked out just fine overall this is a 10 out of 10 for me i literally have no complaints um i don't know if i mentioned it but you do get um it's made in italy didn't know that um you do get uh one fluid ounce of foundation and you get 0.34 fluid ounce of concealer so pretty good um product in there you don't need a lot <laughs> when it comes to the foundation a little goes a long way and for the concealer you can build up if you need to but it's great both products i will say are for coverage i love my face if you want to know about anything else my face um i will list it down in the description box if i remember but i know my eyes is the juvia's place at freak palette my highlight is um crayon case whole pass and my lips is nars nars bound um velvet lip glide which i love it's like a staple for me um yeah i set my under eye with my ColourPop um color pop setting powder and my face is set with my favorite uh, as you can see i hit major pan black radiance true complexion soft focus pressed finishing powder in the shade milk chocolate i've been using this for years like i love this stuff it's like five dollars at walgreens um so yeah overall 10 out of 10 for me like go out and get this foundation and concealer if you're a full coverage girl this is for you i don't have anywhere to go today i kind of ran my errands that involved me going out um before i saw this video but i do need to clean my apartment I need to go pick up my cousin from the train station and just like edit this video so I can get it uploaded. So I'm going to leave it on and I have one more video to film. So I'm going to leave it on right now. It is 12.55. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to give you guys an update. I'm going to check in with you guys in about three hours. Let me just get, get this house cleaned up. Um... I'm going to check in with you guys, and we'll see how this foundation and concealer is holding up. So I'll see you guys in a few hours. Hey, everybody. So I just wanted to go ahead and check in. Yes, I'm in my bonnet because I'm cleaning. I'm actually moving around a lot. So it is now 312. Come on. It's 312. Um, I took my lashes off, too, because I'm moving around a lot. So, I've just been cleaning, um, I've cleaned the living room, I've cleaned my bedroom, and I've cleaned my dining room, and I still have to, and I've cleaned this room. I've been moving around, I've been moving around a lot. Um, the makeup is a little messed up on my top lip because I have a bit of a runny nose right now, so I've been blowing my nose a lot this morning. But this is how the makeup is holding up so far, like the foundation and the concealer, and it still looks flawless and perfect. Like, I'm going to leave it on all the way through this evening. But yeah, so far we are holding up really well. I'll be back in another few hours. I'm gonna go eat some leftover pizza. I'll check in. I'll check back in like another three hours. We'll see. 
I look a mess, okay? My phone is dead. <laughs> it's like... It's like 7.30. I had like something got in my eye while I was cleaning. And I used the Clorox spray with bleach in it. And I don't know if I got some of it in my eye, but I got to rubbing. So that's only like that because I got something in my eye and it was like irritating me. I look a mess, but the makeup has held up. Don't mind that. I know that kind of like hurts it, but my face is fine. Uh, I was able to get done everything I had to get done today. The house is clean. Phone calls were made. I'm going to go ahead and edit this video now and take this off. But even like the oiliness of my skin isn't bad. I've had, I've had this makeup on for about six, six, seven hours now. Going on eight hours. I love it. So um, I will see you on the next one. Mwah.